Today, we've got an interesting topic for you. It's all about creating content and finding my sole purpose through doing that. If this doesn't tell you how much I believe in YouTube, then I don't know what does, okay? It is, ah, it's not even working. That's what's happening. My AC is broken. It's been broken for so long. Well, if you know anything about Austin, Texas, it's like 100 degrees outside. Okay, I'm wrong, it's 90 degrees, but I'm still going to sit down and film a video for you guys because each video that I film brings me closer to clarity on my brand in my direction. The thing that I think is interesting about this is as I'm doing all this, I'm like, oh, no one cares about you, Amanda, right? Like, the, it's so, easy to think that and I've actually told a lot of people that about their own brand as well like hey don't talk about yourself don't do these long intros like this one just because no one really cares there's an element of that that is true and at the same time people care about someone that is on an interesting journey that's what people really want to watch online we tune into YouTube for more than just education right sometimes we want that edutainment. So many of us, we want to wait until we have clarity before we actually start filming. And I definitely, almost every single time I sit down to film videos, it's like an existential crisis. Like, oh, am I headed in the right direction? I don't know. When you do that, you're basically never going to get clarity. And that's been kind of a hard thing to accept for me. I have learned how to really like transmute that and, and change it into a positive where you actually, when you don't have clarity on your brand, you actually get to bring someone along for the journey. What journey are you on, my friend? Truly, think about it. Are you on an interesting journey or are you kind of at a plateau boring part of your life? No one really wants to watch that and no one really wants to learn from a dead soul. So how can you revive your soul? One question that I was asked in December of last year as I was planning this next year and kind of trying to determine my next direction was if you could do anything in the world and money didn't matter, what would you do? This clarifying question is super helpful to be able to see where you are and where you actually want to be because often the journey that we're on has so many other people's opinions wrapped up in it. For me personally, as a brand, I often think about my audience and what they want and what the needs that they have are and I can very quickly get pulled into solving everyone else's problem instead of really tapping into my intuition of where I am wanting to go. I'm editing this video but I want to add something. First off, my AC is finally fixed. Ah! The other day I was at a dinner party and always at dinner parties, there are two topics that people talk to me about, starting a YouTube channel or they talk to me about human design or a combination of both. So there was someone at the dinner party that has been going through my online course, Launch With Video, and he is launching his YouTube channel. And he told me, I got to this point where I needed to stop and think about where I'm headed before I move forward. If I had a penny for every time someone told me this. This video is combating that exact thought. So if you've had this before, click like. Let's see how many people have it. The reality is you can't see the future and if you try to wait until you can, you're never going to actually start. So to tie everything together, instead of trying to see the future, you need to ask where you currently are and start documenting the journey until you get to where you're going. That's what your YouTube channel is about. And here's the thing. It's going to change over the time of you running your YouTube channel. I am currently in a massive pivot in my life and asking myself these two questions is what is beginning to shift my content. Let me explain. When I asked myself this question, if I didn't have money, what would I do? The answer was I would spend my time going around and interviewing everyone that learned human design from the founder himself. I just have this fascination with the system that I'm clearly obsessed with and that's how I'm supposed to be as a projector. It doesn't mean that everyone's going to be interested in it. I know that a lot of people will not, but I also know that it's trending upwards right now and there is a big population that is coming online and waking up to this information that wants to know more. And those are my people. As I talk about a lot on this channel, following where your soul wants to be or starting to take small steps in that direction isn't always easy. It gets us into our mind and we think of all the reasons why we shouldn't do that or why we can't do that. Instead of thinking about that, I decided to ask the question, what if I 
did do this? Like, what would it look like to take small action steps towards this goal? One of the ways that I've decided to do that is to start using my YouTube videos that I produce, starting to capture interviews with human design specialist and starting to kind of create a library of content where eventually it might turn into a documentary, but doing it in a very small step-by-step -step process. I'm about to start doing that on this channel and I will admit it's incredibly scary. So I have now filmed four of these interviews. I am trying to mold the content where it would be incredibly beneficial for those watching. And I have a lot of fear associated with this. I honestly don't know exactly where it's going to go from here. You've heard me say that many times on this channel. This is kind of becoming the theme, embracing alignment at all costs. That was my tagline at one point. Someone was like, I don't really get it. It totally made me change everything. Let someone else in my head. I digress once again, 90 degrees. So what can you expect from here on this YouTube channel? Oh, how nerdy she is. Thing that I actually know that I will be doing, we'll be releasing at least five videos that are going to be profile pieces on individuals. These are really stories of people that have chosen to live that alternative path where they do tap into that gut response that they have, that intuitive guidance system and really feel into it to be able to see where it leads. I hope these stories inspire you. I hope that there's something between the lines that hits your soul in a different way and causes you to change your path, get into alignment in whatever the journey is that you're currently on or where you're looking to go so that you can begin to bridge that gap. In addition to these profile pieces, I'll also be sprinkling in other content that is gonna help you gain clarity on how your unique energy works. So you can weave that into your marketing online as well as how you develop your business to match the goals and aspirations and purpose that you're here to fulfill. As I go through this transition, please do not be a stranger. Hit reply on my newsletter. If you're not on my newsletter, you should get on it. Just watch the quick start guide to human design in the description below. Hit me up in the comment section on YouTube, like really engage and tell me what's hitting, what's not hitting, because you are going to really form the direction of this channel moving forward. So if you share your voice and your desires, then I will hear it. That will be an invitation. And then from there, I can continue to create content that will actually help you on your journey. So if you're down to go on this journey with me, then you need to first get caught up on your human design if you have not yet. So go ahead and watch this video next on what is human design, as well as this playlist that is going to break down each of the centers in human design so that you can understand what it looks like when they are undefined or white in your chart. It's a game changer.